Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Angling and Arrows. Uh, today I'm just going to do a quick review on the Snap Mount Quick Connect System for the GoPro. I use the Hero 9 Black. Uh, this is a product that I got for Christmas, so it's not a paid advertiser or anything. I'm not gaining anything by doing this. I just thought I'd share a product that I actually like. It makes attaching your GoPro, moving it from one accessory to the other, really simple. And as well, I was watching a couple of videos on it there the last few days. And I noticed in a couple of the videos, they had one of the accessories attached around and they said that it didn't work very well. But the reason was because it was attached around. So uh, I'm just going to do a quick run through of this and I'll take a quick second to remind you to make sure that you subscribe and like our channel if you like this content. A lot of the features myself and Devlin doing some outdoor stuff, uh, hunting and fishing, that kind of stuff. And as well as bringing you some products that we use in the outdoors. So the snap mount is a magnetic system that is comprised of a backing plate that attaches to your camera. You leave that in place. Then it has these two uh, adapter systems that you can put on your GoPro accessories and as well as a backing plate, which I'll show you in a second. So these two adapter plates just attach to your accessories and then they fix together with a magnet. It's as simple as that. There's little finger grips here that you can hold on to to remove them. It helps if you twist it a little bit. Uh, this one right here came attached in the package when I received it and I just wanted to mention that I actually had a little bit of trouble figuring out how to get this apart first. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but uh, I was, for a few minutes I was outsmarted by this accessory. <clears throat> but uh, the thing is with this one, it has an additional safety lock uh, on top of the magnetic system. It has these two little hooks on it right here, which fasten onto your backing plate to give you a double system. So if you were fixing it to a vehicle where you were concerned with the magnets letting go, uh, this will prevent that. But I personally don't think there's gonna be any issue with the magnets. But what you have to do is you have to put this uh, perpendicular and then rotate it. That locks in these in the back and just the opposite to take it out. You just have to turn it and then these locks will uh, allow it to come out. So it's a simple matter of doing that. So I'm just gonna attach the camera to the backing plate. Simple matter of putting your GoPro fingers into the slots, the same as you would with any GoPro accessory. The snap mount kit comes with a nice aluminum thumb screw. Well, we struggle a little bit lining line these up here. So I'm just gonna snug this up. These thumb screws are actually a little bit more substantial than the GoPro ones. Uh, once you have your camera mounted, you have to take your accessories. This is just a little tripod I use here. So I'm going to mount uh, this backing plate because it being in my hand, I might use it, wave it around a bit. So I'm going to use the one with the locks on here. I'll just put that on. So you do need the additional thumb screws, obviously, that you would already have with your GoPro kit. The snap mount kit only comes with two adapter plates and one thumb screw. And this here is my GoPro uh, handheld uh, selfie stick. So I'm just gonna mount my other adapter plate right onto here. So obviously this doesn't take a lot of time, but when you're in the field and you're switching from one mount to the other, and uh, you don't want to be fooling around with screws and taking it apart. Uh, this snap mount system makes it way simpler. I find when I'm fishing and stuff that one minute I'm using the handheld and the next minute I might have it mounted on my chest or my head strap or the tripod. Uh, so this system just makes it a little simpler. So I'll just demonstrate with the tripod mount here first because this is the more complicated one. You have your locking system here. So you just put it on and rotate it. As simple as that. So I have this set up somewhere, I'm doing some videos, and I decide I want to switch to my handheld system. It's just a simple matter. There's no buttons to push. Simple as that. It's on there. This is very substantial. These magnets are very substantial. Like, I can't imagine they'd ever come off. It takes quite a bit of force to remove them. You, know, you want to go back the other way. Again, it's just a matter with your locks. Put it on and turn it. That engages the magnets, and this is not going anywhere. Uh, I have a couple of other GoPro accessories that I use quite often. Uh, the head strap is one of them. So I'll probably order an additional adapter plate from the snap mount site. 
Uh, I would like to see it have come with three or eh, maybe even six or seven, but you can't win them all. But the Snap Mount Pro Kit comes with the two adapter plates. And as well, it comes with a lanyard uh, adapter plate as well. This is actually meant to be substituted for a chest strap. In one of the videos I saw, they had mounted the uh, backing plate on the camera upside down and they were complaining about how much this bounced around. But I mean, obviously, if you have this mounted in properly, it's not going to work very well. So I am going to just put the lanyard into my shirt here. And it's a simple matter of then you can adjust that lanyard to however high you want your camera. It's just a simple matter of when your GoPro is on one of your other mounts, you can just take it off and you can attach it to your chest mount. I can even pull this up. That's how strong the magnet is. Uh, this shirt is not very, uh, not very heavy. If you had it on a jacket zipped up, it would move even less. But this actually, I mean, it doesn't move like it stays in the direction that I'm looking. If you shake it a lot, it'll bench around. But for the most part, for what I'm doing, this actually works really well. Uh, it doesn't droop or anything like that. And this magnet is extremely strong. Uh, if you want to keep the uh, backing plate tight, you can just adjust your lanyard. So I've been using this outside and stuff. I'm trying to get this off of my shirt now. So I've been uh, using this in the field now a little bit. And I really like this system. It's one of the things that I've complained about using the GoPro was the interchangeability of it, especially with the ones that don't have the, some of the accessories that don't have the uh, GoPro mount here. Uh, this one here, this is a factory GoPro mount. And so I installed this onto the plate, as you saw. So I mean, I could put this on any other GoPro accessory as well. But uh, it's just a little bit quicker with the magnets. I just find sometimes you have to fumble with this. Putting that in backwards. Oh, crap. That was my fault. I put it in backwards. That wasn't intentional. I legitimately put that in backwards, but it's not usually that difficult. And then again, with this, you can just take it on, take it off. Uh, the other thing you can do with this is if you have a magnetic surface, a vehicle, or a light pole, anything like that, you can affix this magnet right to that, and it'll stick on there really tight. You can adjust it to whatever angle you want there. Uh, it comes with a little rubber pad that you can put between your magnets and whatever surface you're sticking it to to prevent any damage to that surface. So there you have it. That's the Snap Mount Pro Kit. It has the camera backing plate and the three accessory plates. Two for accessories and one on the lanyard. Uh, I know there's quite a few reviews online, but I just wanted to let people know how you connect and disconnect the uh, accessory plate with the... Uh, security feature on it there because I did have a little bit of trouble with that and as well as just my thoughts on the lanyard attachment I thought it worked pretty good uh, make sure you subscribe and like our channel see what myself and Devlin are up to this winter we're going to hope to get in some ice fishing in the near future and uh, who knows what else so thanks everybody stay safe this winter